So this is the start of our ESA journey. The only thing we didn't know was we happened to join one of the biggest allied Russian servers. Now, would this potentially lead to teaming on massive problems or would it actually turn out fairly decent? Well, you'll have to wait and see and watch the episodes to see how it all plays out. We went in as a full tribe with a few stragglers we had known who wanted to live the solo boat lifestyle and kind of just play as a solo duo and kind of try and survive on smalls because they didn't have of type of service they wanted like cross arcs and other server modes for their playstyles. We went in knowing how bad teaming and exploiting aimbot mesh and were on smalls and we were prepared to face it with a solid plan of action and what we wanted to do and where we want to tech as our bases. We also thought there was a high chance we'd lose members early and we'd need to kick and cycle in new more active forking due to the nature of small tribes and how it was only dropping with one map and limited servers for a massive population the game had at launch. Also apologies for for the whistle bug I had at the start of the episode, it was quite annoying and it happened to a few folk, it would constantly reset my keybinds and I'd have to constantly reset them, rather than pissing around with it I just kind of tolerated it. But with all the rambling out the way and the backstory in place, we'll jump right into the first episode of the ASA official small tribe series and you'll have to keep watching to see if we survive, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as there's much more content coming, drop a comment down below, hit the like button and feel free to give the video a share. Did you have a bed on the raft? No. No. Oh my god, the lag is disgusting. Like, yeah, you're running towards a fucking bow and arrow and a giant app. Oh, that's why my game looked so fuck. I had nighttime shift on. My game was like. Do you red. just recruit me, mate, and we'll sort that out in a minute? Yeah, I'm recruiting you. I'm you're the mark. Is it going through? Yeah, yeah, you got it, mate. Alright, alright. Try to get, get wood if you can. I need 250 and I can. What the hell is with the fucking size of their fucking shit? <laughs> I know. There's barely any I want to Wait one till the patch shit. It's like they're, they're all. I got a saber two chasing me down now. I can learn stone, but if you want to wait, we'll just scrap them over there. Ah, uh, we'll just. I'll make stuff while me, so I'm actually leveling, mate, in case we PVP. But yeah, we'll be fine, but then we'll switch to stone. <laughs> All the notes are the exact same. We need to spam this and get another oh, one. Oh no, the server's capped. What, it's capped now? Oh, nah. Save it to the God damn it, my tools, bro. My diarrhea. Why can't I place that? Debbie, come to the small island, uh, north. Give me, like, two words you can. The cave's different. It's got two sides to it. Wait, there's two entrances? No, one entrance but two sides. Oh. oh, we don't have any fucking metal. The thing is, if we don't get some turrets up soon, that base is getting blown right in there. Yeah, he might be going back to get C4 right now. Uh, they're about to knock out a 45 over here. Or we have like a level 7 you can claim. 14, so at 12 I'm gonna start. There's three of them on us trying to fight them now. The Argy's been a fucking spasm orders. And I'm half fighting them now. I mean, I've, got, I've nearly dead, but I've, you know, I've logged on to the old front of the base has gone. Again. I'm parking the boat too and coming up. Killed him, killed one. But the other one, they've got grapples, they are actually kitted up. So at this point, a couple of days had passed when the first servers came up 
after three or four hours, maybe longer because I was quite sleep deprived, they deleted everything because wildcard being wildcard would give people admin rights. Our plan had played out perfectly, but unfortunately they wiped it. So we waited for many hours in a queue trying to get online and then eventually we did the plan again. We were constantly getting DC'd, we were getting raided and then it would roll back and we'd log on not knowing where the fuck we are, ready to advance and defend again. We'd farmed like crazy, we'd lock down the locations we needed but we were constantly getting griefed and attacked at the minute there was no real teaming but what i will say is if you do go to smalls as a duo or trio or solo i wouldn't bother as there's so much teaming you're just gonna get smashed and it's just gonna be an absolute waste of time you'd be better waiting for when new maps drop and there's less competition so you've got to have a thick skin when you play this game and understand it is not meant to be allowed but it's just the way it is so you've kind of got to deal with that shit all in all i was happy with what we'd done so far in this and the experience so far was fairly decent for most of us. Mate, this Anki is fucking insane. Like, what the fuck is this thing? 4k XP and it's got nearly 600 melee. Right. It's actually like one of the best you could get. I, it is, eh? Uh, that's probably one of the best god rolls I've seen. That's fucking insane. Maybe the best on small right now. I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised, mate. That's ridiculous. And once we all start imprinting it and shit, the amount of metal we can get it would be awesome. I think we might maybe should make an indie and just start farming metal and shit like that. Where's he at? Uh, behind you. He went up the mountain a little bit to the right. Is he going to tether the donkey? There's a guy there, guy there, behind us. Should I kill him or are we dipping? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Nah, dip, dip. We need the metal. Yeah. Can you, can you all but come behind? See if he's there. He's gonna try to pick you, be careful. He's about to go. Is he still? Yeah, he's still on us. I'm really low health. Pick you, fuck. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Ah, oh, my low health, I've died from the doctor. I mean, I grapple down, fucks. Oh, those are it, and not Narcoberries. Got my kit back. I did grapple out of him as soon as he picked us and went flying into a fucking tree and then smashed off a rock and just died. <laughs> it's all good, we're the mid hole, that's what's important. Oh, mate, are you still lurking around somewhere on the coast that you can grab us, mate? Because I'm running over to Kano. Wait, where you at? Get get the Anki back first, mate. Forget me for now, and then I'd come. Well, I'm just on the coast. I'm basically uh, just over from Kano on the opposite lake. I know. But, like I expected certain things just not to be in the game anymore. Yeah, same. Where it is. <laughs> Fucking invisible origin. Fucking yeah. Oh. yeah, I don't. I loved the PvP when we had Pearl. It was fucking class. You're yeah, trying to. You access him? Oh, that's perfect. Uh, press E on him. I'll have Gravel. Bring me if you can. What is this in Kano? Yeah. yeah, he's right there, the, the attack sign. He just he went in the water, he went in the water. I'm trying to grapple him. He's just fucking naked. Waking him. He's low, he's low. Oh, he's about to get back on the fucking RG. Oh, he's fucked. Ah, oh, bro, I almost hit him. Grapple and pike up. Money, man, money. Nice, nice. Reel in and pike him. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> we just see you like. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Drop me, he's dropped me, he's cut. He's nearly dead, he's fucking nearly dead, fuck's sake. 
Oh, the pussy's oh, really off. He's cut. He's gone down the beach. The back end of the uh, beach, uh, near, near the purple drop. No, but he hasn't taken off yet, I don't think. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's going uh, to the main iron in there. Ah. Stream. He's new to watch stream. Yeah. I'm, like, trying not to die, but this is insane, eh? Wait, what the fuck is going on? Right, it's GG, Dan. They're getting wired. Oh yeah, bro, it's GGDI, baby, he's down and shit. Got one heavy in a box and then they raid someone. Nobody's got soakers, so nobody can defend. They're wiping everyone, because when they pull up to raid, they can't do out, because they just grapple them into turrets. Like, it's a show, like, we should be sound by then. And that's like, obviously you can't help that. So we were off to a slow start originally and we were getting griefed in attack a lot by multiple different tribes. We defended extremely well and we just cracked on and we kept progressing the best we could with the disconnects and all the bullshit that came with ESA at launch. The base was looking nice, things were getting more organised, we had thylos, we had got some turrets down and we were taking the piss a lot of our bob base but it genuinely was really nice to see CD's progression and I felt we were fairly secure and I even felt we could potentially take this server. We had noticed there was a lot more bigger tribes building up. We'd also started hearing of a really big alliance of Russians, which I didn't know if it was who you say and people on the servers were chit chatting about, but then we started noticing a lot of Russian names. We started noticing a lot of people we'd killed were Russians, and at that point we started gathering it was the alliance folk that talked about. We'd heard they were aimbotters, meshes, and all this shit, but people talk bollocks and arc, especially when they've been wiped, they'll say anything toxic about people, so you never really know. And that's why the best thing you can do is just kind of record if someone's aimbotting. But from our experience so far, we didn't really see any of it, and it was fairly chill. The worst part about the game, if I'm honest, was Nintrado with the shit servers, and Wildcard's half assed attempt at patching stuff. And then add in the rocket exploit that constantly got used on us, where you jumped and rocketed. I mean, it was just so stupid. But the best way to defend against that was we would just snipe them, try and pin them back and push on them, or drag them into our turrets. It was quite successful, that strat, and it worked fairly well for us, and we knew we needed to progress more. More, and we needed to get on with farming for the bosses. Oh, the, I, I imagine we'll probably get attacked by them at some point, but maybe we won't. But you know, we just don't trust any current apple. Let's just try and get the peace while we can. If we had something with more fucking weight on this one. So, our fridge there, mate, that's absolutely capped with med brews and loads of stews, as you can see. Um, this, these are our, we've got our, where is it, our tech fridge, now a tech fridge we actually have, as you can see, 475 seven, melee on gigas, um, and then we have full towers, prefab here, 24 towers, we've, oh god, as you can see just so many heavies, and even a wooden door. There is a tower in the smithy. Right, so this is this, there you go. That's our place. That's the staircase to heaven. We don't do ascensions, mate. We go to the top of here, and then she high from Snail Games, admin, gives us the ascension once you reach the top. Keep watching, mate. If you do reach the top, that's the thing, because you might fall off the edge, or one of your tribe members might jump into you and knock you flying. Oh, no, it doesn't stop. There we go. There's nothing there, because we don't have anything. Because we we're poor. Build this is literally where we sleep. Oh, well, watch, watch you don't fall down there because then you've got to do the stairway to heaven again. Oh, oh, and this here, yeah? that lift, yeah, that don't work. Oh, Fucking wait, 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 wait. You haven't seen the death wall? The death oh, wall? Okay. Whoa, look at that. Tech turrets. See these be dung beetles. Aggressive, protection, jelly box, metal. Oh, it's actually got a back on it this time. That, that's a fucking... That was me. Oh, wait. Don't forget our team that we needed that says, don't ride, I'm meshed. Because if you sit on that, it kills you and you lose your kit. 
It's great protection. Wait, wait, and then the autos. Yeah. So he, he, get, he gets better. Don't be jealous. <laughs> I think after all, after we have been struggling so much, guys, I think our sanity is still more than in the Carno Cave. Yeah, yeah, where, 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 where? These, you see these arches? You actually do today, but normally you fucking don't and you can't get out. So then we keep uh. going through the cave to our other tech journey on a stone foundation because it's alpha because no one can rocket run that. And then we keep going. Oh, there's a. Do you want to go for five? So can it's more ambient if I don't gamma five. Look at that. Ooh. It's not any better. So obviously. Oh my! The tunnel's not full of shit. Yeah, it's normally you can't get out of here. Yeah, today's a good day. <laughs> oh god. Wait, so you're saying you only have one base? What is this? And there's our tower that we're building. What do you think? Beautiful. <coughs> that's the time, uh, time tower. <laughs> yeah. I just said that on YouTube. Yeah, well, we're already starting to build it, mate. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and these the Oh, yeah, and this is this is this is normally the thing here that will kill everything because they're on passive and left outside, and then you know a level five raptor killed your two hundred and twenty Ardry. Oh, mate. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's when uh, Oh look, there goes the frog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he doesn't want to fight today. We'll close that thing. Wait, you want to see a base suit from us? Yeah, one second, mate. I'm just going to drown myself <laughs> in game and in real life. Nah, don't do it. I will give you a base suit. Don't do it in game, man. <laughs> Don't do it in game. I'm gonna go drown myself, Matt. I, I, I recommend ne necking yourself. It's way better. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you know what? I can't swim, so I don't get buffs there because I'm worried I'll drown. No, no, I, I don't really recommend, recommend you sit on the mesh dino. Yeah, I would do it. I know what happens, eh? Like. I, uh, mate, I did you not just. Oh, 97. He's a bit. Oh, wow. Wait, what? You don't have melee damage? What the fuck? Nah, <laughs> do a fuck. I'm no melee, you Bob. Hello? Hello? You have a like, little bit of water that you have in your base? You need oxygen for that shit? 50 is base oxygen. Go to melee. That's obvious. Wait, no, you do realize 150 is base oxygen now, huh? There you go. Alright, Mara. <laughs> Nice beard you've got there. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this shit? <laughs> do the wave, eh? Do the wave again. I'll get a better one. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit, eh? Hey, look at this. This will be the dance we do when the alliance pulls up to hit us. Be fucking six drives for one person online. Right, I'll start being serious now before I get out of bed. What are those? What are those? Oh my god, you have all the dances. Ooh, yeah, cool. we've done Ascension, mate. Stay with Evan Ascension. Oh, he's Devi. <laughs> oh, there's Devi. He's always doing something. You're the tallest character. Look at that. Little fucking midgets. Look. Oh, look at him, 103, fancy bastard, with his chicken legs and his weird fucking... He, he doesn't even have feet, he has a fucking toe. He has a large toe, mate. Disgusting. What the fuck? Guilt. Oh, that stuff's getting fabbied. What? Here yeah, now, Fobbin. So that is kind of the first episode and the first few days. Our progression was fairly decent with all the setbacks we had. The guys were absolutely smashing it, comms were perfect and we were just preparing to get ready to defend against any potential raids or if this alliance turned up. Next minute I know, yes, we did have a fob on us. It is a very bob fob but an early game. This was very hard to fight against, especially when we couldn't get anywhere to put our stegos. We didn't have any breed lines. Shit was going sideways pretty 
pretty fast if we got fobbed massively. So all we could do was prepare and defend off the cuff and just see what we were capable of doing. But that is next episode. There's a lot of PvP, a lot of funny content. Um, I really do enjoy playing ASA and getting involved in all this shit, regardless of all the bullshit and people crying. I will continue to play, uh, and I've been waiting for this a long time. But if you want to see the raids, you want to see how it goes into the Russians' attack and all this other shit, are these guys Russians? And what happens? You'll have to stay tuned, sub, drop a comment, hit that like button, and tune into the next episode. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.